Hey, what's up? It's David Duford at davidduford.com, where I help insurance agents like you become top producers. Today continues our four-part series on the numbers behind selling final expense. This is an updated series of videos that I did earlier on in 2016, 17, and 18. Uh, a lot of the information is very similar, but this series um, coincides with my goals this year to get right to the point brief videos out to, for the producing or consuming final expense public. So today we're going to talk about lead costs and what is that, how it works, and what you can expect. So lead costs are a critical component to your success in the final expense business. Most of us have to buy leads to have people to see. As many of you know, I only recommend purchasing direct mail leads if you're going to buy any leads at all if you sell final expense. And then I do like seminar marketing as well, but that's a different topic. So lead costs generally average for direct mail around the upper 20s to lower 30s mark. We've seen slowly progressively increasing prices due to postage prices increasing as well as the average response rate dropping in certain markets. Used to be we could get mid-20s for high-quality pieces, but that's drifted up a lot over the past five years or so. So I would expect to pay, you know, mid uh, lower 30s is kind of where we are in our price point uh, currently at the recording of this video. Um, if you do things like telemarketed leads, that can range from 10 to $15 a lead. Facebook leads, 15 to $25, depending if you're doing it yourself, outsourcing it, or buying from a vendor. Generally speaking, a full-time agent is going to take about 20 to 25 leads. So you're looking at about a 600 to 750 average weekly investment cost that you'll have to go to. So that's kind of what I would project for your costs. And what lead costs really come down to is that you get what you pay for. And this is an important concept to understand. There are so many agents, I talked to one yesterday, who said he got started in the business with an MLM type uh, recruiting company. And he bought a bunch of older six, nine-month mortgage protection leads. He got appointments off of them, but he didn't get sales, and he was frustrated. He was told to buy the cheaper leads because you're kind of more apt to screw up on them. But what I have found recruiting agents is that if you give an agent a poor lead that's poor in quality and cheap in price, well, you're going to get a perspective generated from crap. And so a lot of agents begin to doubt the veracity and capability for success in this business when they see people that just don't buy from them because they're out of the buying opportunity zone and there's just not a lot of opportunity because it's likely someone else is there before you. I want to avoid that entirely. And I'm of the persuasion that also applies to cheaper, fresher leads like telemarketing and to some extent Facebook leads, not so much. But really, if you're going to do this business correctly, you should always, if you're buying leads, purchase direct mail leads, fresh and exclusive ones, not aged leads, not ones that have already been sold because you're going to find more problems with them. And yeah, they're cheaper, but they're cheaper, right? Give yourself the best opportunity for success in this business, okay? Take it from me. I started off with fresh leads, so do all of my agents. And I can't say that everyone succeeds. Everybody knows it recruits. You're going to have people who succeed and don't, even with fresh leads. But the point is, is you want to give yourself the best opportunity for success, right? You don't want to slack on that, especially coming out the gate. You're, you have to recognize that you have a full perspective of this business that's not really developed. It's only from looking from the outside in. And you're going to develop a bias in thinking, these leads suck, these people suck, I don't like this business. And if you get that off of age leads, it's not good. If you're going to not like this business, at least give yourself the best chance of success first. And if you fail out and if it's not for you or whatever, at least you know. And you don't have to wonder six months from now when you're working for somebody else in a job you hate. Maybe I should have done things differently. Give yourself the best chance, burn the bridges, jump in with both feet, and buy good leads. Buy direct mail, fresh, exclusive leads. If you'd like to learn more about how we help agents do that, that join my agency, which recruits nationally across the nation, you can go to daviddufour.com, click the button at the top that says Join David's Agency for free information on how we'll help final expense agents join and get started with a fresh lead program. Please comment below. If you have any comments, like the video with a thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe and share as well. My name is David Duford at daviddufour.com. Thank you again for watching. Take care.